Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you what I get up to on a typical weekday studying at the University of Cambridge. I am in my first year studying Natural Sciences, so that means 6 9am lectures a week. I got up about 10 to 8. I'm not a morning person, so it was a bit of a struggle. For breakfast I usually have a cereal bar because I don't have time for much else. I go between Nutri-Grain and Belvita usually. I like to just go on my laptop and chill out for a bit as I eat my cereal bar. Excuse the grumpy face, I still really wasn't feeling the early morning. Then I went to go and have a shower and get changed. At this point I'm usually quite rushed for time because I've snoozed my alarm one too many times. And here we have my favourite NASA jumper, of course. I opened the curtains to let some natural light in and check what the weather was like outside. It was pretty snowy so I was unashamedly quite excited. The next stage of my morning routine was to put my makeup on, of course. Now this can be quite time consuming, especially when I've got lectures to go to, so I tend to do quite a basic face. Just a bit of foundation and mascara. The aim is to just make myself look presentable. Then I straighten my hair because it gets really frizzy and I like to think this gets rid of some of the frizz. Rather tragically, I'm currently running low on contact lenses, so I've been wearing glasses quite a lot for the past few weeks. Had to give them a bit of a clean because they've got so dirty, but yeah, it's all good. I have quite a lot of contact hours on weekdays, so I tend to make time plans rather than to-do lists because most of my time is in supervisions or lectures or practicals. I type out my plan for the next day the night before because I like to be organised. Here I am just packing my bag for my lectures and making sure I've got all the lecture notes I need in. Obviously, I was putting a scarf and gloves on because it was freezing outside and I really feel the cold. I like to take a bottle of water with me to lectures because I do get thirsty and it's good to keep hydrated. My bike did not take well to the cold and the brakes basically froze up so I've actually been walking to lectures quite a bit for the past few days. Whilst it was pretty cold, the park was also quite scenic and I kept warm by speed walking because of course I was running late. I eventually arrived at my chemistry lecture and picked up the new lecture handout since we were starting a new topic, we were doing kinetics. For all my lectures in my course so far, the lecturers have supplied handouts that you can then annotate with your own notes and highlight and sometimes we do example questions as you can see here. I didn't find this lecture too hard going because it was covering a lot of stuff I'd done on A level on rates of reaction. I am a big fan of using coloured pens to mark my lecture notes as well. I have my chemistry lectures in one of the largest lecture theatres in Cambridge because so many people take chemistry. Here I am just leaving the chemistry lecture theatre because it was the only lecture I had there that day. You can park your bike outside as you can see. And then I really fancied a coffee so I headed down to Starbucks. I would usually go back to college and make my own coffee but since I was on foot I felt like I didn't have time to go all the way back to college since I had a lecture in an hour's time on a nearby site. I can confirm the latte was very good and very much worth it. I brought my physics work with me and worked in Starbucks for the next hour. I'd been set some questions on rotational mechanics for my physics supervision. They actually weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be and you can see I'm actually writing stuff down instead of just staring at the question, which is progress for me. Then I headed on down to Downing site where my earth sciences lectures are held. Rather handily, it's only a five minute walk down the road, so I could get there very quickly. So the Earth lecture today was our first lecture on climate. It was actually pretty interesting. So here is the Physiology Lecture Theatre, which I am sure has some sort of secret power that makes you want to fall asleep. But anyway, I just went about annotating my lecture notes and trying to take in what the lecturer was saying. After every Earth Sciences lecture, I always have an Earth Sciences practical, which is just upstairs in the Earth Sciences department. There is a first year lab, which is shown to you here. We often use the microscopes to look at thin sections of rocks. The last lecture series have been on sediments, so our practical today was on ocean sediments. It was okay, we were just given a worksheet that we had to work through, and that's often the case for Earth Sciences practicals. They're only one hour long, so they're not too bad. 
there was quite a lot of calculation bits and pieces to do so I have my calculator out there's usually hand specimens on the side benches as well which you can look at and they aid you in filling out your worksheet these particular rocks are formed from glacial sediments I'd finished my practical by 1pm so I headed off out of the earth sciences department and back to college. Here you can also see the earth sciences museum. I was starting to get a bit fed up with the cold at this point and yeah I was being a bit of a baby about it. I hate the cold so much. Like when did Cambridge become the Arctic? Eventually I made it back to Jesus College, Chapel Court. I went to check on my bike to see if it was any less frozen than before, but no it wasn't. For lunch I just made myself a chicken sandwich. I've been trying to minimise the amount that I'm going to calf because I feel like two meals a day at calf is quite excessive. Also calf by the way is the Jesus College cafeteria. While I ate my lunch I just watched a bit of YouTube, it's pretty much my go to thing when I want to relax. I actually had a chemistry super at 2 o'clock that day though, so it had to be quite a speedy lunch. My fave biscuits are Choco Blah Blah, I don't even know how to say their name, but they are really good. And yeah, I do need something sweet to help me get through busy days like this one. I had a quick flick through my chemistry lecture notes, so I was ready for my supervision and ready for whatever my supervisor was going to throw at me. I did a quick file changeover, put away the lecture notes I no longer needed, got out the stuff that I did need for my supos in the afternoon. I was trying to stay organised. Doesn't always work, but I can try. My chemistry supervisions are held in college, so I could leave my room at like 5 to 2 and be sure I was going to get there on time. So I headed across the court and off to my supo. Unfortunately I was not able to film in my chemistry supo, but basically we just went over the problem sheet that we've been set for that week. Here I am coming out of it. It was quite hard work, so you can see me heaving a sigh of relief as I leave. My chemistry supervisor leaves an overall comment on the top of our work each week. I usually get good in places, but this week was good effort but variable. You know what, I'll take that though. Like, I did put a lot of effort into it, and I can only try my best. So I made corrections to the questions I got wrong, I made a few silly errors that obviously I kicked myself for, but what can you do? And look, I got an excellent for one question, get me! And these are some of the notes that I took in the supervision, we derived a few equations. My math supervisions are held in Selwyn College, which I usually cycle to, but I thought I should quickly check the walking distance. I wasn't happy that it was 23 minutes, like, it was snowing outside. It just wasn't the weather for walking that far, but what can you do? I got on with some more of my physics in the meantime. So tragic times, I now had to go outside in the snow and walk to Selwyn which is ages away. But here we are, we're walking through Clare College here. It was fairly pretty in the snow but it just didn't cancel out the fact that it was so slushy and icy everywhere. I had misjudged it slightly. But I blame Google Maps, because Google Maps told me it was a 23 minute walk, yeah? It was 30 minutes in the end. But it was fine, we eventually made it to Selwyn just about in time. I cut it quite fine, not going to lie. Yes, we made it. My supervision room is actually at the top of a really tall staircase, so I was quite out of breath by the time I got up there. An hour later I headed back for my math supo, if anything it got even more snowy than before so you can see that I really <laughs> was not enjoying that. But hey, check out the really cool frozen lake. 
river. No, it's a river page. A river. I do earth sciences. What is wrong with me? But yeah. So here we are. We're walking through Kings. Very exciting. I don't usually walk through Kings. I usually cycle. So I'm not going to lie. I actually did quite enjoy this. Get those shots of the chapel, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if people mistook me for a tourist. <laughs> oh dear. It's always nice to get back to Jesus at the end of the day. I really do view it as home now. In my math super, we just went over the problem sheet that I've been set for the week. It's pretty much a standard thing you get set for physical natural sciences. So, a few ticks, a few mistakes in there that I corrected. It was a useful super, I'd say. Here is my attempt at a contour plot. Yep, pretty messy, but we can work on it, we can work on it. Positivity right here. Then I went to Caf, we had curly fries which makes it great and those cabaret mousses are literally my favourite. This is the main hall where the cafeteria is always held and formal dinners are also held in here. The portraits of the masters are up on the wall, it's quite a nice place to be really. And here I am heading back to my room after Caf. I had the heating turned up full in my room because it was so cold and it was just lovely. Then I got on with some more work and yes, it was still physics. The question sheets we get set each week, even though they're usually only six questions, take a long time, especially when you get stuck on them. But it's all part of the learning process. And the physics continues. And I was really pleased with myself when I finished. Here we go, I could staple it or paper clip it together, put it in a folder and it's all ready to hand in. Proud of myself. As usual, I filled in my happiness journal at the end of the day. It's really nice and it makes you realise there's always things to smile about, even if your day hasn't been as great as you may have wanted it to be. At this point it was now very late in the evening so it was time for bed, so yeah, I got myself ready for bed. Please don't judge me when I show you that I didn't get to bed till 1 o'clock, it's not a regular thing, I promise. Sometimes I just get a bit sidetracked from work and it happens. I did have Saturday morning lectures the next day so that meant setting my 7.20 alarm, whoop whoop. My hands get really dry this time of year, especially in the cold weather, so I use some Dipper Base Cream and I put that on every night before I go to bed. Last thing I do. That brings us to the end of the day. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.